Like there are just some times where it's like, this person doesn't want a conversation with you. Like I will have it. I will have a conversation with them because what I have learned over the years is that if I post something and it gets a reaction and I comment back to the commenter who's having a reaction and we go back and forth, I know I'm not going to change that person's mind. Sometimes you're surprised, but a lot of people watch those back and forth. And the second you make it negative, the second that you give in to wanting them to make it negative, you know, some people try to bait you. And if you don't take the bait, then then that helps. You know, people people kind of want to watch that that thought process take out. And sometimes it shapes some of your stuff. That's probably the most helpful tip is just like don't try to jump in because the thing that I regret most is when I try to jump in or, you know, it's just like just uh, it's it wastes too much psychic energy. You're totally right about working on your business or spending time with your family. It's just these little serotonin machines are not good for us. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing how many people victimize themselves by subscribing to the false assumption that they owe it to other people to argue with those people whenever those people demand an argument. Right. And, and, and the reality is you have the right to decline any conversation you want for any reason you want. And you have the right to exit any conversation you want for whatever reason you want. That's freedom of association. That's voluntarism, right? Now, the person who wants to argue with you, they're never gonna like that, never, right? Because, mm -hmm. because they're, they're emotional, they're passionate, and it's in their best interest for you to sit there and talk with them until they've got their feel. And that's understandable. They don't have to apologize for how they feel. But you only have so much time. You only have so much energy, right? At some point, you got to stop that conversation. And you've got other things that you need to be doing. You have things that you need to study. You have work that you need to do. You've got family and friends you need to be with. And if you really want to be a person of influence with your ideas, you also have other people who want to hear from you that might have different responses, right? So you have all of these other factors to consider. And, and people will try to make you feel as if the only way to be intellectually honest is to have a conversation with them right now. You know, so there are people out there who think, hey, I can talk to you however I want to talk to you. And if you want to be intellectually honest, if you want my respect as a credible whatever, whatever, then you need to respond to every comment that I make. And it's like, nah, the world's too big for that. There are plenty of people that I can learn from. There are plenty of ways I can have stimulating, interesting debate. Sorry, but I don't need you. Yeah. You know, uh, sorry, I have the right to exit a conversation. And like, that's important for mental health, but it's also important for just like being constructive. It's also important for being rational. Like, apply the same standards of rationality to getting into the conversation that you do for supporting your beliefs once you're already in it.